father accused of killing his pregnant wife and their two young daughters claims he strangled his spouse after she killed their children. Christopher Watts, 33, told police he killed wife Shannon, 34, after catching sight of her murdering daughters Bella, 4, and 3-year-old Celeste on a baby monitor. A police affidavit seen by NBC News read, while in the bedroom, by a baby monitor located on Shannon's nightstand, he observed Bella sprawled out on her bed and Blue and Shannon actively strangling Celeste. Chris said he went into a rage and ultimately strangled Shannon to death. Watts claimed Shannon, who was 15 weeks pregnant with a son the couple planned to call Nico, attacked their daughters on August 13, shortly after she returned from a business trip to Arizona. The murder suspect said he began talking to Shannon about marital separation and informed her he wanted to initiate the separation after she arrived home. He had been having an affair with a colleague at Anadarko Petroleum Corporation, where he worked. Watts' defense attorney requested a DNA sample be taken from the girl's necks, only to have it denied by presiding judge Marcelo Kopko. After allegedly killing his family on August 13, Watts, of Denver, Colorado before putting the bodies in his work truck and taking them to an oil site owned by his employer. He is said to have told police that he buried Shannon there before dumping his daughter's bodies in oil tanks, allegedly in the hope of disguising the smell of their decaying bodies. One of Shannon's friends became concerned about her whereabouts after not hearing from her for several days after August 13 and contacted police. Watts was arrested on August 16 after making an appeal for information about the whereabouts of his missing family. He said his family's disappearance had left him torn up inside and appealed for everybody to just come home. Watts has been charged with five counts of first-degree murder. Financial documents uncovered after his arrest revealed the couple filed for bankruptcy in 2015 and were in dire financial straits.